Hello, Tanner here, back in The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. As you can see, I have put a lot of work into this game. I've got every single crafting recipe. There's a few little collectibles that I have to pick up and all that nonsense. But um, I figured I'd put my knowledge to the test and maybe try to make it more useful for someone other than me. You know what I'm saying? So today, the goal of the video is to go to one of the most annoying and difficult areas of the game to find some of the most useful equipment. And uh, I'm going to do like a, a little zombie survival guide type thing uh, eventually. But just to do a little tidbit intro to that kind of thing. I would very high, highly recommend in this area, it's called Rampart, bring some walker innards if you have some on you. It's almost crucial. But not today because I got lucky. Rampart's got no herd thanks to the intel I heard on Radio 47. The story related. Pay attention to Casey, that's all I'm saying. I'm just going to go get rap, uh, some recipes, a key, and code. Guess I should be a little more specific. What we're going for today is <laughs> the recipe for these little dudes. I was collecting robots and timers separately for the longest time. That's wrong and dumb. Uh, you should just scrap those for stuff instead of wasting your time like I did. You don't need the robot hole in the timer hole to create one of these. You just need the recipe and the little bits. Uh, next thing we're going for, we're going to go for a key to find this compound bow and a code to find the explosive arrows. And uh, a little bonus, uh, there is a crafting recipe called Fourth and Pain. I imagine that. Imagine that on a stick, all bladed out. That's what we're going for. For some reason, it's always Fourth Street. So, first thing. The gym is an annoying, annoying-ass building. For some reason, it's one of the only buildings that I've found in the game that when you unlock the doors from the inside, they don't stay unlocked. It's aggravating as all hell. You want to go to the far north side of the gym, that area is always open. You can always climb in up there. Up we go. Do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy till the break of dawn, yeah. You understand that system of down reference. <laughs> You'll enter the gym on the second floor. Typically this place is crowded, so before I even get into the area with the walkers, which is just the main, you know, like basketball court, whatever, rub some guts all over yourself and be prepared to walk slow and be bored. Little bonus intel for you. Being around a certain zombie, even when you're covered in guts, at a certain time, it just, you'll get detected no matter what. And I haven't figured it out, and I'm striving to do that. So maybe that'll be a part of my survival guide. I have this door open already. This is one of the only doors in the fucking gym that stays open when you open it. Stand I stand correct, I suppose. But... I know it's hard to see because of all the red, I'm sorry, but you'll find this little corner area by the bleachers. Walk up the bleachers. Oops, I sprinted and ran my guts out. Climb up these bricks. Drop down this little hole. It's entirely possible you'll come across this area just because of the story. But I'm an ambitious tourist and I want all the gear that I can get to survive. Oh. And next to this guy, right here, he's not important, you'll find a diagram looking something like this. Alright, that's enough of that. And that's why I uh, approve of the theory that everybody's going deaf in The Walking Dead because of gunfire and ringing. Anyways, next up, we're going to the school. The school sucks. It's, it's honestly a really sucky maze. I don't like it. Even without a herd, the gym is the only place that like really sucks, so it's not completely necessary to deck yourself out in zombie guts constantly. And that's a little trick I learned. 
not very stamina wasteful. If you don't feel like fighting, just grab their faces and push them. Oh. And it doesn't pop the infected heads, so they can't infect you. Uh -oh. <laughs> but if they bite you, you get really infected. Oh, good God. What a shit show this is turning into. Anyways, this is my favorite area of the school I like to enter to. It's really annoying. The school is segregated into like two areas. You kind of can't get from this wing of the school into this wing of the school. Or at least I haven't figured it out. My dumb ass uses the north entrances every single time. That works best for me for exploring. I recommend that. Anyways. Northwest entrance, you'll find room 201. Uh, the entrance is blocked. Main entrance. You need to just continue down the hallway until you find the first open door on your right. <coughs> Highly recommend grabbing these a lot. Very helpful. Save you ammo, save you health, save you ass pain. Okay. First door on the right, and then you hook another right and just go back all the way to the other side of the school. It's just a bunch of holes in the wall, you just keep going through them. <coughs> should probably heal myself. Hey, bitch! Come on, I had your head. I had your head. And you'll find this uh, really gruesome sight eventually, and there will be a key near their feet. Next, you're looking for the music room and the nurse's office. Continuing down the same hall as room 201. I don't think the music room is labeled as the music room. It's just room number some some. I'll find it for you. Hopefully. Ah, okay. I was incorrect. Same wing as room 201. All the way at the end, you'll find the nurse's office. Enter. Eliminate. Swing around the right in the back, and you will find the diagram for Fourth and Pain. It says unlocked. I definitely already have it, but okie doke. And next, you'll want to proceed to the other northern entrance of the school. Ignore the second floor entirely, unless you're feeling like exploring. Don't ignore the zombies unless you feel like dying. Walk in this bathroom here. Find this hole in the wall. Proceed into the music room. And on one of these little music stands... Oh, there we go, it is still there. Even though I already have it. This code is randomly generated, as all codes, aside from the one story-related one. So this will not open the code, will not open the safe. <clears throat> so this will not open the safe for you uh, just by using this code. You have to find this. Randomly generated. And that's going to do it for Rampart. Then you want to head back to the cemetery. You can do this at night, even, as long as you've already... Had your first contact with May in this area. She will open these catacombs for you. Ignoring this, it's locked for me anyways, because I beat the game. <laughs> Ain't that a damn shame. You know what's there. Regardless of what you did to it. Early part of the story, May leaves you a key right here. You probably noticed this safe. <laughs> Enter the code. Whoa. Don't let your game out. Inside this safe, you'll find the recipe for these bad boys. Wait, that's not the right thing. <laughs> you'll find the recipe for these bad boys. Bomb arrows. But next, we gotta go find what goes with it. Now, to get the compound bow recipe... Ooh, hello. To get the compound bow recipe, you're gonna need the key that we got off the dead couple in room 201 on Rampart. For some reason, it stays in my inventory. That'll seem even weirder later, but okay. You want to proceed to Memorial Lane. Look at that, we got lucky again, no herd. If you're finding this video informational, useful, entertaining maybe, go ahead and hit that 
subscribe button. I'm gonna keep doing tips and tricks and uh, like weapon demonstrations, what they're good for, whether or not the crafting materials are worth it, all that nonsense. Mod stuff for blade and sorcery. Let me know if this video is a good idea. Let me know if the zombie bayou survival guide is a good idea. I've got pretty good information, you know. Let me know about all that in the comments and stuff. Or you could leave a simple like if that's, you know, all that effort you feel like putting in. Anyways, you want to proceed to the Red House on Memorial Lane. You want to look for a weird bookcase like that. I'm pretty sure this is the wrong side of it. Yes, I was correct. Normally, there's a little keyhole right there. Oh, huh. Th the, that's weird. Well, at the very least, you know that there's a keyhole that looks like that that typically shows up that typically shows up right there, and the bookcase swings open inside the compound bow recipe. That's the point. What I like to do is I like to stash my bow on the left side because I'm right-handed. Typically, I have a weapon in there so that it auto-stashes when I just throw it in the backpack. But so that I can easily cross-grab, grab it with my correct hand, and then launch an arrow. Easy peasy. Just like that. So we've got fourth and pain. We've got our compound bow. We've got our explosive egg timer. And we've got our bomb arrows. I've already done something unusual by showing you where it is. Now let's get back to what I know I like and show you how it kills. That ought to be fun. Oh, right off the bat, huh? Okay. I uh, didn't even do my thing. Eat dirt! That's how that works. Let's use it again, huh? Oh, damn, son. Good. Okay, well. All right. <laughs> cool. Wow. Goddamn. I really haven't used it that much, but that's how it kills. Just out this thing, eh? Fourth and pain. Nice and lofty. It's not a heavy weapon at all. Oh, and a decaps. I thought it was too jagged to do that. Not bad at all. Cool beans. Limbs easy. Not bad, not bad. Still give you access to walker guts, naturally. Like, why wouldn't it? Ah, uh, well, I don't want to find out how it brains on this thing, but eh, whatever. Well, that wasn't graceful. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, this thing's basically useless against these things unless you do that. Ow. Oh, it works. You, you throw it. I knew this wasn't going to be a good victim to throw it into his face. <laughs> That's fun. What's it rated for throwing? Two? That's not a terrible two. No. No. Yeah. Give me your face. I gotta use it for something. Oh! That's how it kills. If you didn't know, arrows can always be used in a pinch to stab. I'm not sure. Oop. I'm not sure about these ones, though. <laughs> Let's see what dickheadedness we can do. Let's see how it works. Well, let's see how it kills. It works like normal. Probably a waste of the durability, I was gonna say, before it proved to be apparently way more durable than regular arrows. Huh. Did I just create an unlimited durability melee weapon? Don't fix that, developers. I like it. <laughs> this compound bow shoots really far. That's not the greatest demo. You barely have to pull back to get like a full launch on it. Did you see that nonsense? Oh, I didn't demonstrate. Oop. Watch this. You barely have to pull back on it to get it to just go flying. And that's the usefulness of the compound bow. I like to break physics when I aim and basically put the arrow in my eyeball. 
Eh, that wasn't very far. But, you know, it's not hard from a closer distance. Come on, where you at, Zambo? What? Oh, not terrible. That's how it kills. Now for one of my personal favorites. You just grab it, twist the timer, find some zombies. It does not start ticking until you throw it. And it doesn't work if the zombies see you, obviously. Uh-oh. Okay, so if you swap hands, it does activate, but you can recrank the timer and it'll stop. But otherwise, it does not start going until you toss it. Let's find out. Huh? See? Hope that's in a good enough spot. And hope I'm in a good enough spot. Pretty sure it's an accurate timer. Full 60 seconds. It's apparently a really good distraction. I'm not... I'm not very hidden over here. And then... And that's how it kills! I guess a little bonus trick, uh... This is just about as quick as reloading a save. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, I really appreciate it. Uh, this is a brand new style for me, like... I'm trying to break out, do my own thing, make something useful for the viewers that's also fun for me, so that I don't burn out and all that stuff. Uh... So if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know I'm doing alright, and let me know you want to see more. You know, go ahead and let me know if this isn't great. Eat also in the comments. If you'd rather see something else, feel free to do that. Like, you know, this channel's not just for me. No point if I just engage, if I just entertain myself. So, that'll do it for this one. Tanner's out of here.